tayo ay matanda na Sana'y di tayo magbago Kailanman na saan may ito ang pangarap ko Makuha mo pa kaya ako'y hagkan at yakapin My name is Crystal. I'm a social work graduate student at the University of Calgary, and this is a short video that documents my experiences facilitating a research project with older people in the Philippines during my international and community development practicum between May and August 2011. Our project focuses on the perspectives, experiences, and reflections of eight local leaders of community organizations of and for older people living in poor and underserved communities. This video highlights the research methodologies used and the key themes that emerged. Before I begin, I need to make a confession. Prior to my experiences with this research study, with the NGO, the Coalition of Services of the Elderly, and older people from the Pilcon Federation, Prior to all these experiences, the idea of aging frightened me. I was afraid because I believed that aging meant to regress. I believed that opportunities to grow and to learn will gradually fade with old age. The ageist perceptions that I held gradually unveiled through personal reflections from the research process. I realized how misguided I was the whole time, and it was not aging that was my enemy. It was the damaging perceptions of the aging that I held. The ageist perceptions were like invisible chains, and with every passing year, the links would appear one by one. My experiences and reflections uncovered the totality of this invisible chain. The ageist perceptions were damaging to my human development and to my future practice as a social worker. However, the people I met The stories I heard and the relationships I built with older people show that many issues and challenges of old age are not a matter of aging, but a matter of perspective. Aging happens to us every minute, every hour, and every day. Aging is more than just human genetics. It is about human development. Human development is concerned with philosophical and spiritual questions that explore a meaningful life. In the book, What Are Older People For? How Elders Will Save the World? The author, William Thomas, describes human development as the act of being. He says, it is being that guides us to the deepest, richest veins of human experience. We find meaning in being. This meaning can easily become more important than life itself. Aging is like the development of a series of chapters in a book. 
Aging is a continuous story, a story that needs to be told, and a story that needs to be shared. This video documents the findings of a research study exploring older people's perspective of community organizing. At the same time, this is a story of aging, where older people are the main characters actively exploring opportunities to grow, to learn, and to be.